I fall asleep within five minutes every single night and there's a very good reason for this. I've trained my brain to do this and I've actually tracked it with my aura ring, which is a sleep tracking ring, which shows you how, how to do this. So basically watch this video if you wanna learn how to fall asleep in five minutes or less every single night. By the way, the reason you'd wanna do this is because it allows me to get good sleep. My readiness is good and I have more lucid dreams. So it's a no brainer that you'd wanna do this. The first way I do this, so the first way you can fall asleep in five minutes every night is to, when you first wake up, to get a lot of light and a lot of movement into your life. You need to basically wake up and immediately jump out of bed, run downstairs or into another room, open all the curtains, open all the windows and do some movement, do some press ups, do some squats and get the sunlight on your skin. I know it sounds weird, but you need to go outside, take your hoodie or jumper off so that your at least your arms and your face are exposed to the sunlight or the daylight, it doesn't matter if it's cloudy, and just be there for at least 20 minutes. Be outside in the sunlight first thing in the morning, like within the first hour, plus movement. So you could combine these two like I do. You could do your you could do an exercise routine out in the garden for example highly effective because it optimizes your sleep hormones you will become more energized and it will train you when you come time to sleep in the evening it will train you to fall asleep instantly number two and this is quite an important one with the time you wake up in the morning needs to be the exact same time every single morning so for me i wake up at 6 30 a.m every morning even on weekends even when i'm on holiday even on trips even when i'm tired so no matter what my sleep hormones and then also within half an hour of that waking up time i go outside and i do some exercise so my sleep hormones are perfectly optimized my serotonin and melatonin is are produced at exactly the right time in the right amounts because i'm in synchronization with the with the circadian rhythm with the sun and the cycles that sun the sun does basically when you do wake up at the exact same time you don't want to be jolted into being awake in a stressful way you don't want to have like this crazy annoying alarm tone that just blares out this annoying tone it's just going to stress you out your cortisol levels are going to spike too fast you, you should be spiking your cortisol levels first thing in the morning but not that intensely you don't want to be stressed out you just want to be awake and moving so what i would recommend to do is what i do and that is to have a sunrise alarm clock this is an alarm clock which basically doesn't make any noise for the first half an hour what it does is it starts off by turning on a light that simulates the sunrise very very low very dim and then it gradually gets brighter and brighter over the course of half an hour until it's full power and it looks like the sun in the winter this is incredibly good because the sun is not there you know it's, it's dark in the winter in the mornings especially if you live in uh, europe in the mornings in winter it's pretty dark before about 9 a.m <laughs> so obviously we've got things to do we don't want to wait till 9 a.m to wake up so you simulate the sun with the alarm clock and then you also when the sun the virtual sun is at its full power you also have a, a sound alarm so i use a piano uh, it's like a um, piano sound on my phone which is like another alarm so if the if the light didn't wake me up then the piano noise probably will and it's like this soft soothing nice classical music that's how you want to wake up at exactly the same time every day the artificial sun comes on and in the summer it's also sunny anyway so i don't really need the light in the summer but it's just a nice a nice bonus because your curtains should be closed and then it helps you to wake up then the piano noise comes on and then i naturally wake up within a few minutes so i actually i actually wake up instantly and go to sleep within a fight within five minutes and then next arguably the most important one is to have the smallest meal that you possibly can in the evening so when so don't have a huge dinner basically your digestion will massively slow you down that's the secret don't have a huge meal and also the earlier you can have your last meal the better your deep sleep quality will be at least that's what i found test it for yourself and uh it will help you sleep better it will also help you lose fat but that's another benefit so if you want to learn more about optimizing your sleep check out my free training in the description the breakthrough training there's a link there you can check it out and by the way leave a don't go away just yet if you've watched this whole thing leave a comment now telling me the best tip you found for improving your sleep quality if you're like me you constantly trying to optimize your sleep and you, you want to know how to make it better so let me know the best tip you have in the in the comments down below